Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And today, I can't believe it's here again. It's monthly favorites. July is over. How did that happen? Summer's just flying by. I know I feel like I say this at the end of every favorites video, but seriously, summer is flying by. I can't believe it. We're going to find out about our new duty, our next duty station soon. I'm just like, what is happening? How did we get here? Um, but anyway, I have a bunch of favorites. I think I only have like one technically like new favorite. A lot of these are old rediscovered favorites, but you know, that's kind of like what I've been focusing on recently, especially during the pandemic. It's just been fun to discover old things and kind of save some money and not buy too many new things. So um, definitely, you know, just kind of keeping it low key. So I have mostly beauty. I have a couple lifestyle. Um, I might go grab one fashion thing actually. Um, let me go do that. And then um, we'll just hop right into our my favorites. All right, so like I said, most of these are kind of like old beauty favorites, um, but I am gonna start with my beauty. Um, I'll start with the one new thing. Um, and that is this Paula's Choice Exfoliate Skin Perfecting 2% BAH Liquid Exfoliant. So this is a salicylic acid. Um, and I bought this like little travel size just to try it out and I have been loving it. Um, I've noticed my skin definitely feels smoother. Um, my bumps are smaller. I don't get quite as many pimples or larger pimples. Um, so I've definitely been loving this one. I am tr gonna try a different one of their BHA products. Um, and I'm going to do a whole 30 day skincare test on it. So if you're curious about that, definitely keep an eye out. Um, but I have been loving this. I think it's great. I love the liquid formula. I used to use their um, skin perfecting lotion of this um, before it was in the gray bottle, like when it was in the whole white bottle. I used to use the lotion version of the salicylic acid um, like way back when I lived in Philadelphia. And I remember loving it. So that's the reason I wanted to pick up this liquid exfoliant one and I know that this is like a cult favorite. People love this stuff um, and I do too. I think it's great. It's been working really well for me. Um, like I said, I'm going to have a whole 30 day skincare test coming up on their one of their salicylic acid products. So if you're curious about how I use this and like the amount of use I use, um, definitely check back for this. But I've been loving it and I think it's been doing great things to my skin. So I'm excited to see what this other, I got there, I'm getting their perfecting one, the one that's meant for acne and kind of helps reduce redness as well. So um, I figured that one might be a little bit more suited towards my needs, but this one is great. I can definitely tell why this is a cult favorite and why people love it so much. It definitely is a good one. Um, and I just know my skin reacts really well to salicylic acid. So definitely a good one and I've been loving it. Another skincare product I've been loving, and this is not new to me whatsoever, but I just, you know, can't get enough of it. So I figured I'd mention again, is the CosRx Hyaluronic Acid Hydro Power Essence. Actually, I'm like literally almost out. I'm going to run to Ulta today to get another one because I'm obsessed. Um, salicylic acid and retinol both can be a little drying on your skin. I don't overuse them, but they just, they just are. So I like to make sure I have a hyaluronic acid in my routine. And this is my favorite one. It works so well. The texture is beautiful. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's just a really nice kind of gel serum feel. It absorbs really well, but it does, doesn't absorb too quickly that I can't get my lotion on my face because you definitely want to make sure you're putting another layer on top of your hyaluronic acid so it doesn't have the opposite effect and dry your skin out more. Um, but this one is just one of my, I've tried a few other ones and I always go back to this one. I think the price point is right. I think it's $22, $24, but it's a huge bottle. This lasts me three, four months, maybe more. Um, but it's great. And CoStarX is one of those brands that doesn't use a lot of ingredients. So you can really, they're just really focusing on what makes skincare good. Um, so I just love that about this brand and I just love their hyaluronic acid. I've talked about it a ton before. It's always in my empties. Um, it's in like almost all my skincare routines and I just love this one. So I figured I'd give it a shout out again. Um, the last kind of skincare product I have, um, again, this is an old favorite, but such a good one. 
Um, this is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. So this is um, a face mask, but I got like the huge tub of it, so it'll last me literally forever, but it comes in powder form and you just mix it with, I like to mix mine with apple cider vinegar. I know some people mix it with water, but I've heard mixed reviews about that. So I always just use apple cider vinegar and it is great. I tend to leave it on for like 30-ish minutes. Um, it just depends on how used to it you are and how tolerant your skin is, um, how long you can leave it on for. Um, but I just love this. I think it helps pull out all my imperfections. I definitely noticed the next day I, I might have like a bump or two more, but usually they're at a head and then they'll be gone the next day because this pulled them all to the surface. Um, again, it can be a little drying, so I make sure I go through a really nice hydrating routine after I do this. But I just think it's great. Um, I definitely wouldn't recommend it if you have like super, super dry skin or if you haven't dialed in your skincare to help with dry skin. Like when I was dealing with a lot of flakiness on my jawline, I definitely wasn't using this because it would just make it worse and then cause irritation and that's just not good. Um, so you definitely wanna be careful with this because it can, again, be drying. It's betonite clay and that's just, it's a powerful ingredient. It's great for acne and oil. Um, but you know, you just gotta be careful if you have dry and acne skin, but I do love it. I think it's great. Um, the other thing I, I'm always trying to be careful of is how I'm washing this off my skin. I'm not trying to rub it off because it does, you do want it to dry down mostly. Um, so you can feel that pulsing it. So it brings the blood flow to your face. Um, so you do want it to dry down almost too hard, but um, so I try to wash it off gently and not like scrub it off and tug at my skin. I always try to like use a ton of water and get it soft until it all just dissolves off my skin. Um, but I just love this. It's one of my go-to face masks. Um, and it's just great for, you know, an at-home spa. I just really, really like this face mask. Um, a body product that I know I've talked about before and I've had bottles and bottles of this in my empties um, and I have tried a few other things and I always go back to this one because A, it's at a great price point and B, it just works really well. And this is the Nivea Lotion. This is their Skin Firming Hydration one. I love this one in the white bottle um, as opposed to their original one in the blue bottle. I just think this one absorbs a little bit better. It's easier to spread on your skin and stuff. Um, I think I've said it before, I don't know about the whole firming thing. That's not the reason I love it. I love it because it is just so moisturizing. My skin always feels so soft after I use it, but it doesn't feel sticky or linger on my skin. I can definitely put this on my legs and arms before I get in bed and I don't feel like my sheets are like sticking to me or anything, but it's definitely hydrating. It makes my skin feel awesome and great. Even if I have been neglecting my skin for a little bit, um, and it's kind of getting dry and flaky on my legs or whatever, this saves the day every time. It's so good and the price point's great. Um, and you definitely don't need a lot to do your whole body, um, but you can definitely do more and it'll absorb really easily. And I just think it's great. I just love my Nivea lotion and it smells pretty good too, actually. It smells really clean, which I like. It doesn't have like an overpowering scent. So I can definitely put my you know, perfume or whatever on top of this and I will still smell great. It doesn't like interfere with any of that, which I love. I love a good smelling lotion too, but sometimes you just need something that smells like neutral and clean so you can put something else on top of it. And I do really, really love this one. All right. My last beauty thing is actually a combination of, um, of foundations. And I've been using this a lot recently. Um, if you saw my last, um, not my last one, but the one before that might get ready with me, my bronzed glowing skin one, I'll leave a link to it in the corner down below. This is the combo I used on my face and it's this Physician's Formula and Neutrogena combination and so good. So Physician's Formula one is the healthy foundation and I have it in the color, um, LN3 
And then the Neutrogena Ran is their Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup, and I have it in the shade 50 Soft Beige. And so what I like about this combo is, A, the color combo is like perfect for my skin tone right now. The Neutrogena one's like, eh, I probably could pull this off, but I couldn't use like a ton of bronze or anything. And the Physicians Formula one's definitely too light for me right now. It's more of like a winter shade for me. But this combo together, first of all, obviously the color combo, like I just said. Second of all, just looks beautiful on the skin. It's closer to like a medium full coverage sort of area, but it doesn't look like medium to full coverage. It looks like really healthy, beautiful, glowing skin. Um, and definitely doesn't feel like you're wearing makeup either. Like I don't notice that like it feels cakey or heavy or like I'm wearing makeup and it doesn't look that way either. It really makes my skin just look so beautiful and healthy and glowing. Um, if you don't like hydrating, glowing foundations, neither of these would be for you. Um, but if you love your skin to glow and feel, look and really healthy and like natural, but have some coverage, these are great. And I really just have been loving this combo together. I've been using it so much recently. Um, and it's just been a great combo for the summer for me. And yeah, they're just beautiful. I definitely would recommend them all each on their own as well. But the combo together has just been so beautiful and I've just been loving it. It's been my go-to foundation recently. Um, if I'm not using a BB cream, if I want like full foundation, this is what I've been using. So love these. And they're both drugstore, which is great. The Physicians Formula is a little bit on the expensive side, but, um, and I know their shade range isn't really great, but I do love it. The Neutrogena one, I think it's kind of the same way. It's not expensive, but the shade range isn't super great if I am remembering correctly, but they are just both beautiful. So if you can find your shade, they're really, really good. All right, so I have a couple lifestyle things. Um, the first thing is kind of a fashion lifestyle thing, and it's this shirt from um, Nike. I showed it to you guys in my haul from... Um, the outlets but it's kind of this penny material like you would wear when you were in high school when you were like in gym class maybe but it's great for the heat down here because I can still have a workout top on but it's so lightweight and breathable that it like feels like almost nothing and it's a little bit longer in the front shorter in the back which I wasn't sure about at first but it's actually really cute and comfortable and shows off the booty pretty well um, and it's got these cute little straps in the back and I just think it's really cute and I love the white. Um, I don't have too many like white workout tops. I don't know why, probably because I knew, no, I will get them super dirty and probably drop something on them. But I do love this one and it washes really well. I've washed it a few times now and it still looks great. Um, so it's really super comfortable and just awesome. And I've been wearing it a lot. Um, like I said, I got it at the outlet, so if I can find a link for it, I will definitely link it below. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to. I just have really been loving it, so I figured I would show that to you. Um, the other lifestyle thing I've been loving is this speaker from JBL. So me and Matt were looking, this is the JBL Flip 5, by the way. <clears throat> so me and Matt were both, we were kind of talking about getting an outdoor speaker. We wanted something small and compact to be able to take outside with us. Um, so we can listen to our music on our porch and stuff or when we have friends over or whatever. And so we found this at our exchange um, and it was on sale. I think we only paid 70, 80 bucks for it. I don't know how much it is normally. I'll leave a link for it down below, but it is great. It's so loud. I have barely put it up past like 30, 40% volume. It's so loud. Um, but I've been loving it. It's really lightweight. It's got this handle on it. And so I just, I've been using it for my workouts at home. I've been using it when I clean the house because I can just kind of like pick it up and take it to the next room with me. I've been using it outside when I go sit in the kiddie pool. Um, and we just, we've been using it a ton and it's so nice. Um, it's got a great base to it. It sounds really nice and it just is perfect for what we need. Um, it's Bluetooth, obviously it's water, it's waterproof, um, and you can actually connect a whole bunch of these together and have like a huge sound system. I don't think we'd probably do that um, just because we have like Sonos in our house so we don't really need um, too many of these, but it's so loud on its own that you probably honestly don't need um, a whole bunch of them, but they're great. And um, 
I think we only charged it once and it's only, I think maybe 50% depleted. It's great. It's been going strong and we just love it. I think it's a great uh, outdoor speaker if you're looking for something um, like that. And it's a good price point. A lot of them have are kind of expensive, but this one's great quality and it's not super expensive and we have been loving it. All right, so my last lifestyle is actually a book. Let me find it on Kindle Unlimited. So I've been reading a lot on Kindle Unlimited, like I've said, um, and there are definitely a bunch of series that I love. And the one that really stands out to me right now is um, the bootleg, I think it's called the bootleg series. Hold on, let me look it up. So I've been loving romance novels. They're my, they're my favorite. I know, say what you want, but I love, love, love the romance novels. So this is, the, it's a bootleg Springs series. Um, so it's a series of six books. Um, and they're actually by the authors Claire Kingsley and Lucy Score. Lucy Score is one of my favorite romance novel. Um, and same with Claire King Kingsley. They're both just great romance novel writers. I just really, really love them. Um, but the bootleg spring series was so good because there was a mystery woven throughout all of the series. So you really wanted to finish the whole book, the whole series and figure out the mystery too. Um, but they were also just great romance novels. The characters were interesting. Each book had a different couple that they focused on. And um, it was just great. It was a lot of fun to read. They were awesome books. Um, and I just really, really enjoyed the series. If you're looking for a romance series, I would definitely recommend that one. Um, it's just a really great, great series. And um, yeah, like I said, the mystery throughout all of it's really fun and different and kind of keeps you interested um, to keep moving through the series because you want to obviously see all the characters like, you know, in their romantic lives as well, but you also want to finish that mystery. So I thought that was a really smart move and I really, really enjoyed those books. Um, but yeah, that's all my favorites from the month of July. Hopefully you guys had a great July. Um, if you have a favorite you would like to share with me, please leave it a comment down below and subscribe if you want to join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video and I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.